Hey, welcome back. There was one other thing about the podcast I forgot to mention that I didn't like. I liked everything, but I didn't like this one little thing. Hopefully she cuts this part out. <laughs> I mentioned that, like, I liked this thought that I had, um, but I didn't prepare to say it, so when I said it, it sounded weird. How dating and looking for a job, I, like, I noticed similarities. Um, and I kind of brought that up and I was like trying to, uh, it didn't, didn't come out right and it was weird. Um, I was trying to say how like, oh, Indeed is similar to the dating apps because like there's like you, a million profiles and you're trying to get someone to, to interview you and it's not happening and it's frustrating and then you like get one and then it's like bad and then just, it's, it's, I, I don't know, I thought that was funny I don't know. <laughs> did I think that was funny I don't know um, so I tried to say it and it came out as bad as it just came out now it's not funny and the lighting today is so good like I don't know what I was thinking before sitting over there sit in front of the stupid window lighting looks so much better I'm an idiot I'm a lighting idiot and hopefully this sounds okay, but I think it will be. Um, I was going to talk about improv today because I did two improv classes and I didn't tell you about them. And guess what? I'm going to go to another improv class next Tuesday. So I'm going to do it on Tuesday and Thursday. <laughs> That's a lot of improv. I have to do it. I wasted so much time not doing it. I'm not good at it. i got to get better. I gotta get better. I didn't know I was bad at improv till I started this song. I wanna get better at improv. Um, so two weeks ago, there was, it was pretty interesting because somebody who is actually in their improv company like a pro i don't know i don't know if they pay her <laughs> hopefully they do um she was there and she was like taking the class so that was pretty intimidating because she was really good at it um and it's different than doing it with the teacher like the teacher's obviously good at it but for someone in the class to be good at it two weeks ago i didn't do any scenes with her but this week I did. I did one scene with her. And I was nervous about that because I'm like, she's going to hate me because I suck at this and she's so much better. But obviously the cool thing about good improvers is that they just, they make you good and they make you comfortable. And that's what she did. Like she helped. There were a couple times when I was looking at her and I didn't know what to say. And she took it, because she knew I didn't know what to say. And so she didn't just leave me hanging. She's like, that was good. How do I get up to the thing? I'm stuck. So we did a scene this week where the premise of the scene is like, start in the middle. And I like that idea. Start in the middle of the scene. Don't start at the beginning. The beginning is boring. Um... So start in the middle. So that's what we did. And you have to start with a line. And I think, what was my line? They give you a line and it's like, you see what I mean? That was the line. So you start the scene, let's say, you see what I mean? And my scene was, um, I was, I was like, you see what I mean? I can't get the swing right. Like I got to prepare for this uh, game. And so I'm like, coach. So she was my coach, my baseball coach. Oops, I did that wrong. Um, and then we did a scene where she was the coach. And she did a really good job because she was, <laughs> she just made this joke that she was um, like not paying attention to me and just taking selfies and on Instagram. 
and so the scene turned into and I didn't do a great job with it I wish I did better but um, every improv scene like kind of has to have a thing and I'm getting better at identifying what the thing is so this scene was all about confidence because my character was really nervous about playing against this pitcher who had a good curveball and her character was super confident taking pictures and selfies so the scene was about that dynamic and so she she was the one obviously who was carrying most of it and she would say like you have to have more confidence in your like be like me like when you go up to the plate just be like I'm gonna crush it and just like yell as loud as you can and I'm like I don't I can't do that I can't I can't be like you <laughs> and and then um, I could have done better with this but but I know like the, you have to have an arc with a character right so my arc was gonna be no confidence to confidence so what I did was she kept taking selfies and stuff. So then I kind of raised my voice and was like, would you put the phone away and listen to me for once? You're always on the stupid phone and you should be paying attention to me or whatever. Um, and then <sighs> I could have been better with the whole thing because like I, I liked that I identified it with it but I didn't use like play with it enough and it's really hard I don't identify it all the time it's really hard to identify like what is this scene is it just two idiots standing or is like is it about something interesting like confidence or um you can make it about anxiety if you want Oh, I like this place because there's a lot of pages. Uh, boop. I don't think I've ever been in that door. That's the secret ending is the door. Okay, here. This is the thing that tells you, but it's like peril ring? What does that mean? Scavenger mask? I don't know what that means. Oh, and I like the notes page. <laughs> Um, I don't know what any of this means, but it's cool. The idea of this game is like you get this, like someone's played it before, I guess, and like you're looking at their notes, but it's like in Japanese, so you can't understand it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't. I, I, I very rarely identify the scene, and it was kind of nice that I did with her, but I still didn't do a great job of just, like... So we did that thing where I was like, hey, you got to pay attention to me. And then she was like, you, you, you're going to talk to your coach that way? And I was like, no, I'm sorry. And then she was like, no, that was a test. <laughs> you were supposed to be confident. And then I think that's where the scene ended, on, like, that joke. Um, which is fine. But we did it. Like, I did it with the pro. I mean, she was obviously carrying, like, the whole scene. But, like, did it, right? Oh, here's something interesting. We did a scene where you have to, like, start out really boring and then make a confession. One of the characters has to make a confession to make it interesting. So my confession was, um, I was doing a scene with somebody and I was like, I, I, I ran over your dog. And so that was the, the confession. And so I, I kind of went like mean in that scene, like, oh, I don't care. I killed your dog and I don't care. Um, and when the scene was over, guess what the guy said? Mike, the teacher. Oh, here's the boss. Whatever. I could probably beat him, but uh, I don't feel like... It's cool. I like this guy. Oh, and I think his sword like depletes your health, which is pretty cool. So you have to dodge it. Yeah, see? It's going down. That's cool. 
Um, I like this boss. This is a good game. Good game. Um, he said, it's the quiet ones you have to worry about. The thing that I hate. But guess what? I didn't mind that he said it this time. That's the thing that I hate the most. That people say, oh, it's the quiet ones you gotta worry about. But he was... Why didn't it mind? I didn't mind. Nothing said in the membrane can hurt me. <laughs> That's what I wrote down. <laughs> Nothing said in the improv membrane. I... I understood, like... He was on my side when he said that. I felt like he was on my side. And maybe... I don't know. It is just a perception thing. Because maybe when other people say it, they're on my side too. They're not saying like, Oh, I hope you don't murder me. Which is what that guy at work said. I mean, he didn't say that, but he said, like, it's the quiet ones. And I'm like, remember that whole episode I did? Dalton, do you remember? Where I talked about when people say, oh, it's the quiet ones. And I'm like, I hate that. Um, but I didn't hate it when he said it. And that's cool and good. And um, I like that. Give me more of that, please. I don't know. I guess I could do one more improv day. I don't know. It's too much improv, right? I want to get better. I'm bad at improv. I'm bad at it. But it doesn't bother me. That's good. Like, I like getting better at it. It doesn't, it's not frustrating. That's something I told the therapist. Like, when I was in high school and I played like soccer or music or whatever, I sucked at it. But of course you suck at it because you're a kid. The, the thing is like, you're getting better and it's supposed to be fun to get better. Like, oh, you're practicing and like, oh, you kicked the ball a little bit farther today. That's good. I never, I never had, I never got any joy from the progress of like getting better at something. I was just like, I just, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't care if I'm getting better. Um, but improv has been different. I am getting, well, I guess I don't even really notice if I'm getting better at all. I don't know. It's only been six weeks, but actually it's been 10 weeks. Ugh. I should be better by now. Because I did a four week class and I did four weeks of the six week class already. Die. You killed the librarian. Ugh. Um, I should be better by now, it's been two months. But I'm gonna start doing two, two improvs because I'm gonna go, so what I'm gonna do is on Tuesday, I'm going to Utica Improv because they're doing an hour long like, hey, just come in and do improv with us for free, I think. And so I'm like, okay, I gotta do that. Because this place is only like five minutes away and Mopco is like an hour and a half. So um, if I like the Utica people, that would be nice because then I wouldn't have to drive an hour and a half. But I am also worried that, like, maybe the Utica people will kind of suck and they'll just be like, y you suck at improv. I they're not going to do that. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to upgrade tomorrow my stuff, and that'll be fun. So see you tomorrow. Bye.